How's it going guys? Welcome to the cat lady. And you probably know my name already, so I'll just skip that. And yeah, I've seen a lot of YouTubers play this game. And the one I've been watching for the past days is, well, Chaotic Monkey, aka Cry. So yeah, I want to give this game a try. And of course, I'll, I'll also make a cry of fear. Sorry if uh, I didn't post any videos for the for a couple of days. I've been busy with schoolwork and starting my internship, or more or less called on a job duty. So, yeah, let's get to it. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days. And I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Chapter One House in the Woods This is a nice scenery. I like the crop field or something. And we are a woman. Maybe age in her late twenties, I guess. I don't know. Oh, press left or right cursor keys to walk. Okay, that seems seems easy. Let's go. So freaking damn pretty. And that sky, it's so blue. Was it what is this? A sunrise or a sunset? Is it going dark? And what is this? No wonder. Chapter one, house in the woods. 
Press up to open interaction menu. Cycle through available options with up and down. Press enter to confirm. Alright. I would like to examine it first. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Well, we'll, we'll find a way soon. Okay, I know it's locked. Maybe there's something here. Okay. From a colored frame to a black and white... Yeah. I had a feeling that we were going to go black and white, except this car here! Wow. Oh, oh, okay, it's just a graffiti, okay. Thought it was a real car. Ah. Disappointments, disappointments. No pedestrian access. Well, fuck the police. I am going anyway, and no one can stop me. And what the hell... Why is the bus lights still on? I really don't know what the hell... Oh, okay, rubble. Nothing to be worried about. Alright. They forgot. <laughs> they forgot to say what game it is, I guess. And... Oh, what's this? Paramedic ambulance, and there's blood all over it. With colors, strange colors for an ambulance. Right, let's do this. Examine. It's a... I can't go any further. Alright. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit at all. Oh, crap. Well, open the door. Maybe you can go through. Let's see what's inside. God damn it, it's locked. Oh, fuck you. I'm going anyways. Wait. Did it suddenly become... Huh? What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me! Oh, right. We're... We're in a freaking mess, I guess. Whoa! What the hell? Is that me? Look closer. Yes. It's me. My cold, dead body right in front of my eyes. Oh my god. What is it doing here? Yeah. Uh, okay. Examine. Look. I look so calm. Turn head. I have earrings. Cool. Open eyes. Yo. Never mind. I. My eyes. Just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Yeah, I think you're beautiful and everything. Open mouth. What? I have a key? Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? I better take it with me. Okay, that that seems pretty weird and um disturbing. It's not you didn't swallow medicine. Instead, you swallowed a freaking key. And I don't know what what are we gonna do with this freaking key? Okay, press down to open inventory. Select. Okay, that seems easy enough to use. Firm with enter or press. Okay. That would be no. What the hell? Am I all right? Did I die in the freaking tutorial? I don't want to be like Bad Luck Brian. Oh, alright. I didn't die. That's cool. Anyways, let's just go. Can't you walk any faster, Susan? Well, I know you you just died and then you resurrected again.
Uh huh. I'd like I'd like to regain my color. Thank you. Hey, there's an elk here. I I'm sorry, dear, dear. Where the hell are you going? I'm sorry I disturbed you while you were eating. Come back. Oh, damn it. Fine. Don't want to, then fine. Use. Well, I'll be. Um. Oh, okay. And now, Susan, are you happy that you got in the freaking house? Let's find out what the hell is this. Planks. The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says, emergency power switch, danger. Pull. Look through. Pull. I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. What the hell, woman? You should go back to the kitchen. There's definitely something there. I, can, I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Fine, I'm just gonna go machine. Examine. Too large a sacrifice. Sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Let's switch it on. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? Don't ask me, I don't know. I wanna pull it! Damn it. Fine! Damn woman. Okay. I think we have to catch up to that deer. Have to go out, I guess. Deer? Where are you? I would like to pet you. At any... Be I'd like to pet you beyond all reason. Because I am an animal lover and I will pet you. No matter what... Hey, come back here. Hello? Dear? Stop walking around. Okay, this is new. I, I didn't remember any of these. I remember I was in a crop field. Dear? I'm coming for you. Dear? Dear? Where the hell are you going? What the? Oh my god. I hope the one driving this- I hope the one driving this car survived and what the hell? Um, okay, someone committed suicide? Who are you? A hanging body. Examine. My dead body, hanging from a tree. What? I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? Search. The body is too high. Can't reach. Well, untie it. Rope. Untie. It would take me, it would take me hours to undo this knot. What? The rope is tied into a knot. Well fine. I'll find a freaking scissor. Open. The door seems bolted from the other side. Oh god damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna go. I'll search a little bit more, I guess. Wait. Did I come here? I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Oh my god, you're lost, Susan. You're a dead woman. Wait, what's this? Hey, it's a bird. <coughs> and, um, what about those crows? I'm in a graveyard, I guess. Yeah, I am in a graveyard. 
More like a f what? Gate. Examine. What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bra stuck on the bars. You. Open. It's locked. Okay, I'm not making any progress right now. Where the hell do I find this? Damn it. Hey, I'm back here. Cool. Can I go back now? Can I find some... Maybe I've... Whoa, what the hell? Alright, I'm following the freaking crow. Okay. Follow the freaking crow. If that's what wants us to. Crow, lead me. Lead me to the promised land. Let's go. Ew! The hell? Dear, examine. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Pull out the knife. Cool. We have a knife now. Now we can cut ourselves down and then bury our freaking body. Wait, that sounded weird. What? Whatever. Door. Unbolt. Oh! Cool! Now we can freaking cut this freaking rope. Use. Nice one. Where is the freaking body now? Hello? Oh, there it is. Look closer. I have cup size B breasts. Examine. I I look I look like I'm just sleeping. Search pockets. No. Search pockets. Empty. Take key. Alright. I am beautiful when I'm sleeping. I am so fascinated. I'll leave. Let's go. Wait, where are we going anyways? Oh yeah! Maybe this key can open the gate. 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 Gate, 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 Okay, I can, s I can, now I can see it right. Yeah, we're going here again and then stupid things here. Oh, what? Use. And the key fits. Let's go inside. Oh! Hey, lady! Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious. Who do you think I am? Um. Um, I have no freaking idea. Well, she doesn't look like that, so I'm not gonna choose that answer. She does look like an old lady who lives in the woods. She's not God either. If she was. She would know I was I would be here by now. Or a devil, she doesn't have she doesn't have horns, so I'm gonna go with this one. An old lady who lives in the woods? <laughs> Am I really, Susan? Are you that naive? Or perhaps you're too stubborn to see what I really am. I've waited all that time for you. And now you disappoint me. You wasted your time waiting. 
I'm not worth waiting for. I'm just nobody. And you? To me, you're just a strange old woman sitting on a porch of her house. And those flowers you're holding, what are they for anyway? I'm going to put some on your coffin, dear. After everyone's gone. I wouldn't bother. I hate flowers. Um, I don't I don't wanna know what is this place, so let's go with that first. What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom, and this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. Okay then, and I will now ask what will happen next. Please tell me. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Painting. Look at. A lonely seashore. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lie to yourself. Okay, maybe you are God. Or something else that knows a lot of things. Strange lady. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Talk to her. We can talk properly, my dear. Um, what the hell am I going to do now? Um, I don't want to know who she is, so I'm just gonna know. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I am going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Um... Okay, I'll take the offer. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes, I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Hmm. 
What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you, only in a slightly different way. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought we couldn't move yet. Race? Continue, lady. Um... What do I choose? I'm a failure, why do you choose me? Those five people, who are they? What makes you think I want to go back? Well, Susan is... Um... Based on her character, she did take her life, so I'm gonna go with this one. What makes you think I want to go back? What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. Okay. Um... I wanna go with this one. I'm a failure. Why do you choose me? I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. Alright, it's time to know who, do who those five people are. Why do I what do I need to do anyways? Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you 
understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction, a dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Are you expecting me to kill them? Are you expecting me to... kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. And I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. Oh, okay, this is great pressure. Yeah, even me, I'll feel that way too, but guess we don't have any other options here. We only have one. So here goes. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. Cool. Then I won't let him die. I like to be immortal. Okay, um... What should I answer? It's a... It's blackmail, you can't do that. This all... This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Hmm. What could Susan be thinking now? Well, she died. So the reality... Of... Dream is not best answer I guess I'll go with it's blackmail it's blackmail you can't do that I'm doing it for your own good anyway you are in no position to bargain with me you will either go and do what you have to do or suffer for eternity forever unable to find your peace Okay. Dream. Whatever. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me.
Ah, oh, damn it. I can't die. 